What's up guys and welcome to our YouTube channel DWC Academy where we show you how to design with Canva. My name is Onoha UI and today I'll be showing you how to turn any photo into a pen to sketch in Canva. Before we do that, subscribe to this channel, get 45 days of Canva Pro for free, link is in the description, drop your thoughts in the comments as I'll be responding to most of them and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let's get started. So right now we are in our Canva environment and what we could do is we could either go here to create a new design from scratch or just come over here. I want to show you how to do this. So just I'm just going to go over here and just say Instagram post and I'm going to just use this one 1080 by 1080 and I'm going to get say create a blank Instagram post. Now with that the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a photo that I want to use. I've used some photos before, so I'm going to just reuse them again. In my case, I'm going to use this one here. It's for this boy. And to do that, I'm going to just come right here. And just increase it just to make it look how I just want it to be. And then I will go over to adjust. This is the first knot I usually do. I go to brightness and just brighten it a little bit. You could, depending on how the photo looks, you could decide to brighten it up or reduce the brightness. So I'm just gonna brighten it up and also use contrast so I can get the edges really cool. Now after that, I go over to filter. You could decide to use streets or use grayscale. It all depends on what you want to use entirely, but this will still, are. Uh, this is, also gonna still work for you if you're gonna just do it like this so you can see that this is coming up how I'm putting it okay so you can see this coming out well making the photo to look pretty good and saturation is just already back and that's really what it is already and then I'm just gonna put the blow to zero so I don't have to work in the blow and then I'm gonna go over to effects and on effects I'm going to choose I'm gonna go to glitch click on see all and when I just click on see all the next thing I'm going to do is choose trace and when the trace pops up you're going to find this filter icon here just tap on that it's called controls and right here I can play with the brightness I can play with the power I can also play with colorize now what this is going to do for you is just adjust or correct the photo to make it more brighter more darker or to improve the color for instance if I say colorize it you can see the color is becoming even much more intense so then you've got the other part that says RGB RGB stands for red green and blue so this is a red blue and green shift but we're just going to take this amount and push it to zero and then we are going to choose colorize and also take colorize to the back and then for the brightness we are just going to reduce the brightness like this so you can see how the brightness is right now and the power we don't need that because if we take the power up it's going to make the photo look more like a uh, like an inverted photo but we don't do that so we just want it to look more like this cool then when we're done we just hit on apply and after doing that, the next thing you want to do is go over to, you can go to transparency. You can decide to reduce the transparency. It all depends on which part doesn't look really well for you. But the next thing you want to do is go over to adjust and then you're going to just reduce the blur a little bit like this. So you can see the blur is getting more like shady. And then you could still play with the brightness. Maybe you want to reduce the brightness or increase the brightness. It all depends on what you want to do. I'm going to increase the brightness to 5 and then contrast, I'm going to take contrast up a little bit to 5 as well. Now just to give it that pencil effect because of the edges, the highlight you can see over here. Now what I'm going to do next is go over to transparency and I'm just going to reduce the transparency a little bit like this and then just play around with this one a little bit and just play with the contrast a little bit. So you can see that we've got a perfect pencil sketch for this particular art, for this photo. For you to see how the photo looks before and after, you can just import the photo again. Just import the photo again and just increase it. Alright, so when you increase the photo, you can go around and just 
cut it just to see what the photo looks like before and what the photo looks like um, after that. This is how to go ahead and create your own pencil sketch for anything that you would like to do. The next one I'm going to show you is a different way is how to use we're going to use this one as a fruit and we're going to go to first thing we're going to do is we're not going to touch any of those adjust filters we go straight to effects and we are going to go and choose glitch and then on the glitch we are going to choose trace and when we choose trace choose this create the power to this reduce the amount to zero and just colorize it back like this so you can just decide to play with the powers if you want to so you can have those edges and also work on the brightness to reduce it you see the reason why i said the photo de uh, depends on the values you're going to be using here so it's not cast in stone you can choose to work on whatever whichever one's suitable for you and just reduce this a little bit and also this one like this okay then the next thing you want to do is just say apply and that's it the next part is to go to adjust and for this adjust I'm gonna wait for this to populate properly okay so I'm gonna go to adjust and right here what I need to do is to just work on the blur part of it and then the brightness again will be I'm just gonna to touch that a little bit so I'm gonna just gonna take the blur down so you can see it looking more like pencil stuff and that could just take the brightness up a little bit and then I could also play with the contrast the next thing I want to do to make it really look super cool is go to the transparency and just reduce the transparency just a little bit not so much that this is cool 83 for this one is really cool then to see how it looks like before and after I'm just gonna bring the photo back again and I'm just gonna show you so this is it this is how it looks before the pencil sketch and then the one that is not a pencil sketch so you can see how that works you can see how that works it's just a cool way to play around with your uh, designs and make it even much more interesting that's all about this video for now if you like it hit the like and subscribe button get canva pro free for 45 days the link is in the description you can drop your thoughts in the comments i will be responding to as many as possible and i will see you guys in the next video don't forget seven days without canva makes one week and until then i doubt